Hey guys, I'm going to discuss with you about dynamically inserting values in Java array and then pulling them back and show them in the console. Let's get started. So basically I have already written a program. <clears throat> uh, this program is very simple. Here I can show you how does it run and then we can see. So first of all, we will ask the system how many items purchase is like sales system point of sales. How many items purchase, let's say uh, user enters three, then we ask uh, enter name of item one and then price for item one, uh, name item two and it's price, name item three and it's price. And then we show the receipt like uh, what items are purchased and finally the total is here. All right, so this is the whole system. And for this, we are going to use uh, arrays and dynamically populating the array using these values, name of item, price of item, mostly these, just these two things. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, what does it take uh, to create this program? Uh, we can, by the way, just run it first. Again, this time I say two items. Okay, pen one, for example, and uh, price is 10. Uh, item two is, for example, laptop, and its price is 500. And then we can see a pen and laptop, and the total is here. So it's very dynamic system, and it's very easy code, basically. Okay, so let's see what's going on in this code. First of all, because we are going to ask the user to enter values, so we need java.util.scanner, okay? And this is just my main method and I put everything in my main method. For this purpose, we need few simple things. We need three objects, scanner objects, and uh, uh, one is to know the item, number of items. Then other one is read the name and read price. Okay, so we are going to use these three. Then we're going to ask how many items are there. Then we need two arrays. One array is to store item names like pen one, pen two, pen three. Then item price for each item. Okay, we have total then. We have one for loop where we ask the person key in, key in as many as you want that he has purchased, like here, he has purchased three or two items. So first for loop is to store the values in, in the array. And also we are doing the total. Second array, second for loop is just to display it back. All the item names that we have and item price. Okay, so let's go through it real quick. Three objects are needed that we already have here, scanner, I call them N1, N2, N3. Then this is uh, the first message, how many items purchased. And now we are going to read that using N1 and we are going to put that in this variable. Let's say you purchase three items or two items or hundreds of items, no problem. And for this one, we are going to use next int method to read integer value and we put it back here. In this case, let's say we by two, so two will be in this items uh, num. Now a uh, string array for item name and the size of this array, how many items we want to store? Two, and that is here. So we are putting that variable here. So it's very dynamic. And how many uh, items have price? Same thing, two items, so item num goes here and all the prices will be in this one and we want to put a double. This is just a double total. Now here, uh, this for loop is, uh, the condition is dynamic, again, item num, how many times this for loop should execute? As many times as we have the items. For each for loop cycle, we get one item's name and its price and we put it in total. Second cycle, second item name, its price and put it in total. So, all right, very easy. <clears throat> so we have, let's say two items and we start with zero. System out print name item I 
plus one, i plus one because i is zero. So we don't want to show name item zero. That's why we put that one. So zero plus one is one. This is concatenation. So when we run this thing, we are actually here, name item, see, name item, and then this one, one, and then this column is here. Now on the next uh, statement, we are getting the name. And uh, let's say pen is given like pen one. So pen one is stored in, in this item num i location, i is what? In the beginning is zero. And we are using now second object that we created up this N2. Okay. And we put that using next line uh, method. I can just put next, but it is possible that user might key in something here with two, two names, two words. Okay. Uh, let's say he said Parker pen. So now, and if I just put next, only Parker will be stored after space, everything is ignored. So to avoid that problem, I put next line. Now everything will be stored. Now we got first pen and we put it in zero location and then we get its price. And here we are price item, price item and one is one and then colon and here is the colon. There is, we are getting the price, okay? And next double method and we put it in item price, which was here, this array. So we are getting and then we are putting this price, first price is coming and we put it in total. Total in the beginning was zero. So zero plus let's say uh, first item was $10. So 10 is going to total and so on. Continue for next item, item two and laptop and so on. Now we want, we have received everything in this for loop. Now we want to display it. So we want to make it a little bit, you know, fancy, not fancy, just a better display. Okay, this one is, as you can see, is this row and then receipt, this receipt. Now whatever he has purchased, we're going to show pen one and its price. So how do we show? We have another for loop, item name zero, i is zero. See again, item size, two, two or three items. So item name zero is going to pick up pen one and display it. And we say colon, this is the colon, item price for zero, and that was 10. So again, in for loop, each cycle is going to pick up one item, first time, first item, then second item and so on, and then laptop. Now we are done. We show just this dashed line and then total. That's it. Within just 41 lines or make it 40 kind of, if I remove these things, okay. Okay, so, okay, 40 lines of code and then we get everything done, so. Let's try it one more time. <clears throat> this time three items. Let's say pen one, its price is $10. Laptop, its price is thousand. Another thing is some fancy pen, Parker pen, and it's 60. All right, so everything is good. These are the items purchased, and this is the total, all right? Hope it's help. it helps. Uh, if you have any question, just put it in the comments and I will address them all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.